Want to get laser focused on solving your customers' burning problems so you can skyrocket your business? Let me show you how you can quickly and easily implement one of the strategies from Alex Ramosi's $100 million leads book by leveraging ChatGPT. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to start at the end. I'm going to show you where we're going to go, and then we're going to work backwards. And one of the things that I did is these are my book notes from I read it on a Kindle. I take it and put it into Evernote so that I can then use it for ChatGPT. So this is the thread from the book that I was looking for. And one area down here to highlight is make it easy for them to consume. So that's what was top of mind for me. And what you're going to see that I created right here is what I'm calling the narrow problem positioning playbook. And there's three different elements to it. Number one, it creates a positioning statement, which is very important for when you're creating lead magnets, offers, as well as Facebook ads. Number two, we've got the narrow problem. We want to define what that is and put that into a sentence that's very easy for us to understand. And then number three, and I absolutely love this one, I want to know what my clients might be saying. So we know the problem. Let's put it in their exact language because with that, we can create better content, better ads, better lead magnets. And I did this for five different problems all related to my personal growth coaching business. So that's the playbook of what we're going to create. But how in the world did we get here in the first place? So this is part of a larger prompt chain, and I will go to the part that is most relevant for you. All right, right here. Here we go. So I say, let's make sure we are clear on the definite or narrow problem that I am solving for, because I'm a multi-hyphenate. I do a lot of different things. I solve a lot of different problems for my clients. So it's not as simple as just being I'm an accountant. This is the one or two things that I do. And instead, I want to get laser specific on this. So by asking this question based on my prompt chaining, boom, it creates a definite or narrow problem statement and then components of it. That's good, but I need this to be more concise because the longer something is and the more complex it is, the harder it is to execute. Simple is better. And when you're going through $100 million leads, I encourage you to not get overwhelmed, which is why ChatGPT is such a great co-pilot. Gives us the ability to build out the worlds and create the solutions and then make it so much simpler, both for us as well as our clients. So this broke this down into a one sentence narrow problem. Great, but you know what? I would never use the word plateau and I know that my clients don't either. So what I like to do is say, all right, thank you, Chad GBT. Now I'm gonna start using some of my language. So I live in the world of possibility, creating unlimited possibilities for my clients because they don't plateau, they want what's next. So boom, we're gonna change that around, creating a much better narrow problem statement. The next thing that I did is I took a testimonial podcast I did with one of my clients. And this is the transcription of it, of all of the things that she experienced in our work together. And I would encourage you to do the same because when you give ChatGPT more context, the better it can create for you. So if you have testimonials or case studies, copy and paste them, put them into ChatGPT. So now we are really cooking with gas. It's able to define the key impact areas that I solved for my client. It created a problem statement, and this was the game changer right here, how this impacts positioning. And this right here is going to change my business forever. And even though I knew some of these things, it really helps to have somebody else, in this case, Chad GBT, tell you what it sees from your client's perspective. So boom, this broke this down into five simple areas. Clarity, imagine the life you want. Now let's create a path that gets you there. I heard that and I was like, oh baby, that sounds exactly like what we're doing. So I told it, I really like this and it's resonating with me. And here is the very important part and this is the game changer. Put this in your creator tool belt. 
Now let's reverse engineer this to have each one be a narrow problem. So here are five impact positioning statements. I now want to reverse engineer it so that each one is in the form of a problem. And what does it do? Chat GPT creates the positioning statement, the narrow problem, and then what my client might be saying. And it does this for each one of these. And I was like, wow, this is really good. But with this, it's good, but it's not perfect. And I never expect ChatGPT to give me something that's 100%. So that's why I go in there and I say, all right, for this narrow problem, let's focus just on the personal side. Then I, have it, I give it some more clarity. And here's a tip for you. Take what's in your head and give it to ChatGPT. So if you look at it and you're like, yeah, that's good, but here's the reality of the situation. So for example, my clients is, are high performers. They're not going through the motions. They don't uh, think about certain things a certain way. They want what's next. And I realize they don't have a process to follow. They know there's room for improvement for creating a better life. And that's what I tell it. And boom, it updates the clarity and positioning statement here. And then I keep doing this for every single one of these, all five of them, boom personal growth, mindfulness, and presence. So here is the bow that we're going to wrap on this. At the end, when I'm satisfied with the results of all five, I say, please combine this into, into one. And we're going to call this the narrow problem positioning playbook. And why am I doing this? Because moving forward, I'm going to use this chat GPT thread and I'm going to continue to create more, uh, positioning statements, what are my clients saying, and what is the narrow problem for lead magnets or situations. And by putting narrow positioning, uh, narrow problem positioning playbook, of course, it could use a better name. I did this in real time. It'll allow me to easily tell ChatGPT it, and it understands it, and boom. It, go ahead, it went ahead and created this. I then told it, you know what? I want you to make this look all nice and pretty so that I can give this to my clients or you. And here we go. And this is the narrow problem positioning playbook. I can look at this and now I can create my lead magnets. Now I can create my Facebook ads. Now I can create better offers. Now I can create better content. And I'm just going to go through here and be like, all right, I'm going to create a piece of content about clarity in your personal life. Or I'm going to create a Facebook ad about mindset and self-talk. So you can sit there and the ad can even be like, you know what? You've probably achieved a lot in your business, but sometimes... My thoughts just get in the way of what I know I could be. And this is what someone is thinking. And boom, put that right into my ads. So uh, this is a very simple and easy way to leverage ChatGPT to execute on some of the strategies in $100 million leads. And for me, narrowing down the problem is something that I keep going back to in reading the book and executing on it. Because if you're missing any one of these steps, the lead magnet, the offer, the ads, the creative just aren't going to be as powerful. And if you do many things like I do, uh, it can be challenging to look at that and be like, is that actually a problem that someone has? Instead, let's get it in their language. Let's understand the positioning for ourselves and let's have a narrow problem statement where you look at that and you're like, yep, that is something that someone is looking to solve. They're looking to hire someone for, or they're looking to read a book, or they're looking to buy a course, something along those lines. And these are sort of my framework checkpoints. Check, 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 check. Cool. Now I can build out this world. So I would love to hear from you. Did you enjoy this video? Because if so, I'll keep creating more of them. But I need to hear from you. Drop a comment down below. Uh, we would really love it if you subscribe to this channel. I uh, would do chat GPT tips and tutorials as I'm going through $100 million leads. I will be sharing my journey and how I'm executing it in leveraging chat GPT if that's something you want to hear more of. So drop a comment below, sending tons of good vibes your way.